we go. Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln, this is Dan, and today we're gonna cut open the undersea internet cable. So I had this question about five months ago. Where does the internet come from? Like, how do you get it? Does it come from satellites? Does it come from cables? Because I think it's pretty fascinating that you can put a video on the internet and at the same time, somebody in England can watch it in 4K at the same time as somebody in Australia. About six months ago, we met two Googlers. I don't know if that's what you call them, but they work for Google and they make awesome videos. They have a YouTube channel called Nat and Low. They asked us if we had the access of Google and we could ask Google anything that we could cut open, what would that be? And I wanna see how the internet works and are there cables? And if so, can we get some of these cables? And can we cut them open? So today, they said that they have the undersea internet cable for us. They got us a saw here in New York. That and, we can destroy it. And do you think that we can cut into the cable that goes under the sea for the internet? Probably not. Probably because, not. <laughs> because what if like a shark came and bit it? There's a lot of questions that I have about this whole thing. Like, how do you take an internet cable and put it from like San Francisco, California, all the way to China. So here we are, we're at the YouTube space, New York City, and we're with our friends Nat and Lo. Hey. Hi. <laughs> well, we had no idea where those cables were, like how we could get access to them. So we asked a bunch of people at Google, just kept asking another person, another person. Finally, we hit the jackpot and someone said, well, there's an underwater sea cable that's being made right now, loaded onto a ship, going to be taking off in a week. This is like your one window of time to go and look at it. And we were like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. So Nat and I booked it up to New Hampshire and got this amazing tour of the factory as the cables were being made, loaded onto the ship. Like one of these boats can carry all the cable you need to run it across the entire Atlantic Ocean. So the cable wow. that we got to see being loaded onto the ship is going and connecting Florida to Brazil. People at school, they say that it runs through satellites, but now it actually runs through internet cables. So the majority of that traffic is actually going through these underwater sea cables. So it's not that we don't use satellites, we just use them for a very small percentage of that traffic. We'll be able to see what's inside of it, but I want to cut open our own cross section and then look inside of it and then let's see how this thing works. Bring it on in. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Wow. It's really like a giant pixie stick. Lincoln, you ready? Yeah. Do you think there's candy inside? Super light. <laughs> oh, it kind of reminds me of um, when you hold a shot put ball or a meteorite. Oh, yeah. It's just so dense with metal and with steel that it just is heavier than you think. That's what this thing is like, which tells me there's going to be some pretty heavy metal in here. So when you said earlier that this, you could take this thing and it could go from across the entire Atlantic Ocean. There's a boat that has enough. So when you say that, you mean this entire thing, like the protection, mm -hmm. the steel and everything, they could have a wire this much on one boat. Totally, yeah. What? We are learning something new. I didn't know this. This is fascinating. Did you guys know this? I don't know. Honestly, it's a bit bigger than I thought. And I'm wondering if this little saw that I bought at the store is gonna be sufficient for it, but. That's what we do. Got it. Woo. First of all, are you surprised that we got this done? Yeah, because they were so confident that you wouldn't be able to. This isn't some giant cable. It's not like your cable that you see going into your house. It's the internet cable that has this big copper wire that's in it. The majority of this is just protection. So it has these two layers of galvanized steel. And then underneath that, you have a plastic tube that is what would be at the deep ocean where it doesn't need as much protection. And inside that is this copper sheath, and that's what powers this. There's not really power at the bottom of the ocean, but every 50 miles there are these 
repeaters that are big bulges about this big what? and they amplify the light so it can travel these thousands of miles. Whoa. Actually under the copper you have, you can see like smaller galvanized steel strands and under that a small plastic tube with a bit of gel in it and the glass fiber strands. The payload is just basically as thin as Lincoln's hair and that's the fiber cut. Wow. So all of this is to protect basically something as thin as your hair. There's a video that I've seen, There's a, I think it's a comedy sketch where somebody was talking about how we get on an airplane and if the internet isn't working as fast as we want, we get all mad. And then they're like, don't you realize that you're flying in a metal tube 30,000 feet above the earth and you're mad about the internet not being fast enough? So if you're at home and your internet's a little bit slow, like just be grateful because somebody went and laid this all around <laughs> the world and put satellites in the sky just so you could watch your videos. Between the two videos, we just barely scratched the surface of this. I got a sneak peek of Nat and Lowe's video and it is so educational. I learned so much on it and it was very cool, the adventure that they took. While you're over on their channel, just go get lost for a while and you're going to learn so many things about the internet and about Google and about YouTube that you may not have thought of. Thought of. I'm taking this home with me, so. Oh, yeah. That, how yeah. is that yeah. gonna fit in the suitcase and how are the people uh, on the Don't worry about it. <laughs> Is anybody in here? Okay, this is the bathroom. <laughs> We're in the bathroom. Somebody is in here. Okay.